everybody. Yes, it's a little uh, rainy day in New Jersey, but still is uh, beautiful by the water. Today I want to say a couple words about when we do something in the name of God. First and foremost, we are all loved by God. Every single person, everything that is on the planet Earth, including planet Earth, deserves the best and is loved by God unconditionally. No exception. And some would say, hey, Grace, right? don't you know that some people kill, torture, rape, etc., and they are horrible? They don't deserve anything good. Oh, I'm going to say again, God loves us all unconditionally. And unconditional love means we don't put condition on it. If you're good, I love you. If you do this or the other thing, I will love you. Or I love you more if no such a thing when it comes to God. And that's what unconditional love is. So, regardless of what we do or don't do, we are loved. We, the people, <laughs> on the other hand, make our life and planet Earth a living hell. And I don't take this word lightly. I really don't like to use it at all but it is what it is fight wars competition for power money favors just to have a better house and a nicer car and the best boat and the most expensive jewelry that's what we fighting for that's why we're having big, big issues on this uh, earth at this time <laughs> and, and always. Yes, and we're so eager to go for it and obtain it that we're ready for the war. And of course, let's don't forget the biggest one, religion. I spoke about this many times. But, you know, when people will wake up and finally get it. And if they already do it, please take God out of the equation. God doesn't love only Muslims or only Catholics or only Jews. Love is love. And like I said in the beginning, God loves us all unconditionally. All of us, regardless of our race, culture, and religion. But fighting in the name of God, boy, that sounds really great. No. Oh, God is one for all of us. Only one. And that's the next thing that I would like that people finally get it. Because then would be no reason to fight. Fighting, killing, shedding blood, cutting heads off, enslavering, treating women like a dirt, raping children, making Young girls marry older guy when she's just 13 years old. Are you kidding me? This is 21st century. We are not in medieval times anymore. Are we Vikings and, and you know, <laughs> pirates or something? 
But the truth is, guys, regardless of your race, religion, nation, nobody can really help you. You need to wake up, smell the reality for what it is, decide what is that you really want and desire, see your situation for what it is, and do something about it. Stand up for yourselves. Don't wait that somebody else will come and help you. And don't be a sheep. Sheep year, uh, the sheep year was 2015. Right now we have 2016. That year is over. And it's really time to empower yourself. Ask yourself, who am I? What is really important to me? What is important for my family? Do I want to live in peace or war? Do I want to be a slave? And act accordingly. Love you all. Kiss you. Hug you. And until the next time.